Hey everybody. Uh, this is my T-bar and gudgeon tank. I also have a school of six Marcy rainbow fish in here. And recently I replaced the filter. I took the hang on the back off and I put an external canister filter on it. And I did pour a little bit of um, water that had been rinsed with biomaterial. I didn't, I wasn't able to actually put the biomaterial in the new filter, but I was able to wring it out and scrub out some of the uh, bacterial colonies into some water. And I poured that into the new canister filter. And then of course I have all the rocks and, you know, green growing stuff in there and lots of uh, surface area for bacteria to grow on. So I wasn't too terribly worried about uh, any kind of ammonia or nitrite spike after I switched it over. But I've been keeping my eye on it and it has now been 48 hours and I just went over and took a test and we're actually waiting for the test results to bloom uh, while we chat here. I also wanted to point out that I have a new brackish tank right here that is in the process of cycling in and recently I put a little bit of fish food in there in hopes that it will begin breaking down and decomposing into ammonia and it will spur my nitrogen cycle. Now the thing I forgot to mention in the few other videos I've done about this tank is the substrate I'm using in there is called Eco Complete, and it's the same as the Floramax, it's the same um, planted substrate that I like to use in all of my tanks and I really don't know why I use it in this one because it's not really going to be a truly uh, planted tank in the sense of the substrate for the most part it's just going to be the Java in there probably but I like the way it looks and it does do a really good job at biofiltration in its own right the way the water flow moves through it. There's tons of surface area in it and the gravel itself is enough to be um, you know surface area for biomaterial to grow and in this case when you buy the Eco Complete it actually comes in a bag of black water and has living cultures in it so as soon as I set this tank up in theory it was already cycled in so I don't know how true that is or not but I also have a test blooming for this one and we're going to go over and check to see whether I've got any nitrites or nitrates or not nitrates I'm sorry ammonia or nitrites I'm not worried about nitrates yet um, we're going to just wait and see if this tank is actually beginning to cycle in so my test should be wrapping up about now uh, let's head on over to my workstation and we'll have a look well that's good news on the right we have no ammonia and no nitrite in my gudgeon tank and on the left we also have no ammonia and no nitrite so I can only assume that that tank is pretty much cycled in at least on a smaller scale even though I only recently put the fish food in there a few days ago to begin decomposing it does have some plant material in there and it's got some dead brown you know edges on the plant material so there has been some decomposition and there has been some ammonia production in that tank and the fact that uh, I don't have any ammonia or nitrates, or um, I'm sorry, nitrates. I keep getting this confused tonight for some reason. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, one good way to find out is to check the nitrates in the tank and see how they've built up. So let me go do that, and we'll come back for one final part of testing, and we'll see if there's any nitrates building up in my new uh, brackish tank, and that'll give me an indication of whether or not my cycle is underway. And as I suspected, that uh, brackish tank is pretty much cycled in. Uh, both these vials here are nitrate tests. The vial on the right is my tap water, which sometimes can have some nitrates in it, but it's usually not much. I have a fairly uh, elaborate uh, water system over here that actually removes nitrates from my groundwater. I live in an area with lots of farm and agricultural stuff, so there tends to be a lot of nitrates in my groundwater. And I usually remove the vast majority of them, and as you can see in the vial on the right there, I pretty much have. The vial on the left is sitting just under 40 parts per million. I know it looks really red on the camera, but it's not that red. Uh, I would actually put that somewhere between 20 and 40 parts per million. So that lets me know the tank is cycled in, and we'll go over and we'll have one last look at the uh, gudgeon tank, and I'll explain why. All right, so what those vials told me was that I currently do not have any nitrates in my tap water but I do have a considerable amount of nitrates in my tank so since they're not in my tap water the only way they could have ended up in my tank is if the nitrogen cycle is actually up and running now I don't know if it's enough to withstand a heavy bio load if I were to put 
uh, butter bean, and all five of those gobies into the tank all at one time. Uh, I may have to keep my eye on it, but effectively what's happening is the plant material that was breaking down, and even at this point possibly the food that I've thrown in there, is indeed breaking down into ammonia. And that ammonia is then being converted into nitrite, and that nitrite is in turn being converted into nitrate. And that's why I have the nitrates in my tank, but not in my tap. So that right there is clear indication that my nitrogen cycle is in and up and running and I can pretty much move the fish over whenever I want at this point. Uh, so that might be something I'm going to be considering doing here in the very near future. I'm still waiting to find out what I'm going to do about getting the new uh, tank that I want to get to replace the... Uh, end of the you know the end of my fish room where I've got my current brackish tank set up. That's all going to come down uh, I'm just not sure what I want to replace that with it's actually just sort of boils down to a money issue I've got the option of doing something Inexpensive and moderate right now or I can wait and save my pennies and hopefully I can do something a lot more uh, Elaborate here in another month or two, which is what I'm going to try to do so sit tight Hope for that, and maybe real soon we'll get to moving the uh, puffer over into his new tank. So make sure you're subscribed, that way you won't miss anything that I got coming up. Uh, whatever I wind up doing, no matter which tank I wind up getting or how I wind up uh, rearranging the room, uh, you're going to want to catch it. So if you're subscribed, you won't miss any of it. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.